First Take is brought to you by Extra. Give Extra, get Extra. Our next guest led the Baltimore Ravens to victory in Super Bowl 35, where he was named Super Bowl MVP, and again in Super Bowl 47, a three-time Pro Bowler and three-time AFC Defensive Player of the Year, and now, of course, an ESPN analyst and an author. Your new book, yeah. I Feel Like Going On, Life, Game, and Glory. We welcome to the desk, Ray Thank Lewis. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure Good to, to see, see you. Guys. Look, look, man, you, you, we running out of time, so <laughs> let me get right to it, okay? Uh -oh. Why this book? Why now? Yeah, um, everything got quiet. Um, I retired. I, 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 I let the story die down, everything. And um, I think now a lot of people seen my story, but nobody's ever told my story. And so I think with all of the requests and all of the things that I've been asked to do, man, from the cancer patients to people suffering with this, people suffering with that, it's like my opportunity to say, you know what? You may have seen part of my story, but I promise you if you keep going, you know, there's glory on the other side of it. So I thought it was per appropriate time. Okay. Pardon the harsh transition here, but yes, we got to talk some football and we're yeah. about out of time. Yeah. You're Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. How much are they missing having a you in that locker room yeah. right now? Yeah, it's different. It's different. They have to start all over, yeah. right? Um, and, and, and you see franchises go through things like this, but they don't, they don't have that cornerstone yet, right? And, and for years, they, they was graced with that, right? It was, it was what we created in Baltimore, what Oz and Newsom did in 1996. And now they have to create that when you see, you know, the games. It's the offense one week. It's the defense the next week. And then you, you look for that one person that you yep. say, who is that one person? Yeah. Right, that they go to. Who, who is it? Yeah, it, 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 is it Steve Smith? Is it? Well, well, you know, Steve is. You know, Steve is. He come from another place, so it's it's a little bit different because he's a leader of his own. Right, he plays the game one way, but it's going to have to be somebody that's going to be looked towards the future. Right, what does the future look like for the Baltimore? Ravens? So many questions about Peyton Manning right yeah. now. I'm wondering whether or not you believe he has an even better opportunity to win than in recent memory because of that defense. And I know how you feel about defenses, or are you noticing a decline of Peyton Manning? Well, listen, you know, everything, everything declines, I, I think. But when you see the way Denver's defense is playing football right now, you can win a Super Bowl with a, with a quarterback with that type of experience. Because anytime you have that type of experience, if you're Peyton Manning, you don't have to do everything. And I think the way Denver is playing, the turnover ratio right now is incredible with what they're doing. And I think the field position of what they're really doing, Peyton doesn't have to be Peyton, the Superman Peyton no more, right? Mm -hmm. He just has to get the ball out of his hands and let this play. Could you please play. tell him that the Dallas Cowboys have minimal to no chance of winning the Super Bowl? Can we get that? <laughs> go, go ahead. Go to no chance. Please. Could you tell, could you tell, could you tell yeah. him that? It's, it's a tough climb for the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. It's a real tough climb. Is it over? Cowboys. Ah. I, you know, you know what? You never know when it's over, right? Mm. And, and I always say that. Who do you pick? Who, who's the Super Bowl champ? Who, who do you have fun with? And I always say, listen, playoff time is always gonna, it's always gonna be the team that gets hot. What about Seattle? Because I'm yeah. wondering what I've been seeing mm. from them, and I'm seeing their defense is fragmenting, and you always talk about defenses yeah. needing to be together. I don't see that in Seattle right now. Yeah, it's it's, it's all communication, man. And and when you think about, you know. Those type of defenses, right? I just had this conversation when the guys responded about the difference of good and great defenses, right? You know, good defenses can really be good for a year or two and things like that. But when you start to become great, the players take ownership of the defense, mm -hmm. right? And you don't, you don't have to, it doesn't, it doesn't turn out to point finger. Mm -hmm. No, me and Rob Wilson, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't finna point fingers. No, we finna say, listen, tight end come up the scene, you gonna take him right now, I'm gonna close to this. Yes, you gonna communicate with all of that. But when you see the miscommunication that's going on, I think it's something, I, I don't really know where to put my finger. Mm, you were instrumental in getting Cam back in the fall, Cam Chancellor. Yes, sir. And a lot of people began to view him as a savior for that defense, which which I thought was a little unfair to him. Would you agree with yeah, that? How he's the boom of that defense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely the mentality of that defense, right? When you think about Seattle and everything that they do, he brings fear when it comes to how is the, how how is that defense looked at. But when you talk about the savior of that defense, it's just so many other pieces, so many unsung heroes. Mm -hmm. I think they have the, one of the greatest four, five, six man rotations from their defensive line that. Really really makes them a dominant football team. What were your thoughts about Chip Kelly when you heard all this news in the offseason, a myriad of complaints that we don't even have enough time to get into, but yeah. you heard what you heard about Chip Kelly in Philadelphia, and then you saw them perform. What are your thoughts about what's been going on in Philadelphia and what's going on there now? You know, I, I think my, my real thoughts is I, I would love to sit down, sit down and ask him, like, 
When you made that transition to get rid of all of those people, right? How did you convince the Marco Murray to come here? Mm. How did mm. you convince someone to go from question. that style of running north and south to now east and west? Because I, I think Philly doesn't move without DeMarco Murray. And I think, you know, Sam Bradford, I don't know if he's ever that guy, right? We don't, we don't know. He calls him Sam Bradford. Yeah. Well, he, that's what he was the other night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so and I, I just think it's an identity, right? When you release all of those people who are Philly, you know, picked, and now you bring in a bunch of journeymen here, there, add them in, add them in. I don't think, I don't think that formula works. Just anymore, last quick question, yeah. quick answer. Do you still believe that Tom Brady cheated and lied about it? <laughs> I tell you what I do believe is um, I believe that there's certain things that New England, no matter what they do, they will never be able to get over. You know, because it's, it's 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 factual enough, right? You're there's going enough. back, back in the yeah, past. all the way back, all, all the way right. back, and and, and and yeah, and, and the history of who we are, right? As players coming all the way, Tuck Rule Spygate, all of them. Uh -huh. All of it, and and that's and that's uh, forever throughout his career. He can say what he wants to say. They can say what they want to mm -hmm. say, but he will always follow them. Okay. Thirteen-time Pro Bowler. When you have as many accolades as you do, uh, it's, it's hard to mess them up. I yeah. apologize. Yeah. You know the beauty of it too is that this is my brother right here, so yeah. it's good to see him. And as big as he is, it's yeah. nice to know he never want to hit me. Mm. He want to protect me. Ray, thank you so much. This is in stores yeah, now. You right. can pick it up. I feel like going on. I can't wait to read it. Appreciate thank you. you. Absolutely. Thank have you a guys. fun day here. Yes, All right. We'll see. Do so much for the Chicago for the Chicago Cubs. Swing and a fly ball, well hit left center. That one way back there. That one is gone. He just reached out and poked it. And the Cubs are done. Two one. Swing and a ball driven into the air center field. That's well hit. That one on its way, and that one is into the bleachers and gone. Hasta la vista, baby. The right hander kicks and fires. Right there, got him looking, and that is the ball game. M-E-T-S, Mets, Mets, Mets. That's for you, Jeff. See what I have to put up with. DeGrom Nation, Jacob DeGrom threw oh. seven strong innings. Oh. Daniel Murphy homered in his fifth straight postseason game, and the Mets took a 3-0 lead in the NLCS after a 5-2 win last night. The only team in MLB history to come back from a 3-0 deficit is the 2004 Red Sox. Oh, Stephen yeah, I remember Smith. That. I remember that. Is Who was this? Wait, they came up back on, on the Yankees? Was that right? Yeah, they did. Okay, go ahead. That might be the worst. Yeah, that right. might be my worst moment I would imagine. in sports ever. Yeah. Really? Ever. It broke my heart. Okay. I was depressed for weeks after that. I really, really was. Mm -hmm. But let me say this. Um, you don't need to ask the question. We all know what the obvious <laughs> question is. Is the series you know, over? Is the series over? Of course it's over. The Cubs are about to get swept. Now, mm -hmm. I do understand. I told you this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, I understand that, 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 listen, they got a shot against Mats because of the, of the, of the, uh, uh, the, the quadruple mm -hmm. boys with Mats. Um, obviously, he's not the Grom. He's not Syndergaard. He's not Harvey. But he's pretty damn good. I think he can shut it out. I think that the Cubs' last chance was last night. It was windy. It was raining. It was cold. Um, obviously, they didn't have they didn't have Arietta. Well, yes, they, well, they didn't have Arietta, uh pitching for them, even though he got smacked around a little bit by the New York Mets. In the end, you have to concede, Skip Bayless, that the New York Mets just happen to be a very good basketball, uh, football, uh, baseball team right now. Mm -hmm. I'm saying basketball, football, That's baseball. Okay, we it Here's the deal: pitching wins championships in baseball. Mm -hmm. In a regular season, you need the hitting. Of course, you needed the hitting yeah. last night. It was nice to see David Wright get the double. It was nice to see Cespedes do what he mm -hmm. did. Daniel Murphy is playing like a flat-out stud. Mm -hmm. But that's not why I picked the Mets. Mm -hmm. I picked the Mets to win this series because I knew that the Cubs coming into this postseason pretty much had Arietta mm -hmm. and nothing else. If this was the best of three and he was able to pitch game one, that would have been maybe he, different. He was able yes, to, but he did but, but, but the That's bottom the line is this. You've got, listen, it's over. I believe it's going to be a sweep. Is it possible the Cubs might win tonight? Sure. But chances oh, are they were, no, not right. at all. Chances are they're going to be demoralized. Mm. It's over. Chicago had their nice little run. It was nice to see the fans. They have something to cheer about when mm -hmm. it came to the Cubs. Theo Epstein, Joe Madden, mm -hmm. you've got a bright future ahead of you if you're a Chicago Cubs fan because of these guys. But the problem that you have is that the Mets are going to be waiting. They don't have an ace. They've got three legitimate aces in their rotation and Matt is a great great number two or three so I'm just or looking four. 
or four. Yeah. So I'm just essentially just looking at it and I'm saying, you have no chance whatsoever. It was beautiful to watch. I appreciate you jumping on the parade, putting on your Cubs pom pom. I love the But Cubs. it came, oh, it will God. come to a screeching mm -hmm. halt officially. The Cubs are about to get swept. Mm -hmm. The New York Mets will be going to the World mm. Series. And, and I say the Cubs have yet another New York team right where they want it. No, really. Down 0-3 with a chance to make history. How could it be better written than this? This is perfect. Storybook. And yet, I've got to ask you. You don't even you, believe that. You yeah, know I, I do believe it because <clears throat> look, what i got to question you about, yeah. Mr. Baseball Expert, that you suddenly are. Yeah, my okay. Jeff, between well, Jeff what, and my dad, yeah, I'm, yeah, good. Yeah. I'm what, good. What, what is completely shameful <clears throat> to me is I've known a whole lot of New York Yankee fans yep. in my time, mm -hmm. and all of those self-respecting mm -hmm. Yankee fans, there is no way they could even utter the name Max right. on national right. TV. Yeah. Right. They just couldn't even speak that? it. And, and yeah. you are cheerleading for the Matt, may I answer yeah. that for you? Dan, may I answer that for you? Wow. Um, you know, uh, cool out, Miss Connecticut. <laughs> you know, with no team. Chill out, relax, wait. Here's the deal. It's really, really nice that you would bring that up, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. because most fans are not as forward thinking mm -hmm. as I am. Oh. They are caught up in the moment and they're mm -hmm. very frustrated. I must admit it was nauseating to see Alex Rodriguez smiling ear to ear after the way he performed in yet another postseason, breaking the screen, throwing a football to Jay Glazer. That's about how he threw in the field mm -hmm. during the regular during the season, especially the postseason, but that's, mm -hmm. a, that's another subject for a different matter. And I love me some Mark Teixeira. It was great seeing him here with Mike and Mike, but but damn it, I'm tired of seeing him smiling in the postseason when he's always hurt when we need him most. And I love Mark Teixeira, but damn it, I needed you out in the field. Having said all of that, let me say this. Okay. I am a forward thinker. And to the Yankee fans out there, I am one of you. I'm diehard. I have not betrayed. Daddy, I have not betrayed you. I am still diehard Yankees. Here's the deal. What is the ultimate source of inspiration for the New York Yankees? If you have a scintilla of Steinbrenner, meaning George Steinbrenner, the late George Steinbrenner, the former owner for the New York Yankees, God rest that wonderful man's soul, here is the deal. What is the ultimate source of motivation? If the New York Mets win, it will prioritize and elevate oh. the level of urgency oh, so of the New York Yankees. Rooting for the absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Anybody that knows, you can say whatever you want. You can yeah. pretend all you want. You Open know how I feel about my Yankees. The bottom line is this. We don't have the farm system that the Mets have. Mm -hmm. Sandy Alderson has done a fabulous jab in the whole mm -hmm. aftermath of the Bernie Madoff scandal with the Will Ponds. But in the end, the New York Yankees, damn it, I'll admit it publicly. If we got to buy a championship, be my guest. Open the open the bank, the bank book, pay the dollars, get who you need to get so we can stop this travesty of the Mets being the representatives of New York more than the New York Yankees. If that means the Mets having to win the World Series to get that done, I'm all for it. Ain't no, ain't no shame in my game. Ain't no shame in my game. My man Jeff knows that too. I don't care. So, okay, whatever it takes. As the late, great, former Mets manager, Yogi Berra, once said, yes. it ain't over until... It's over. It's, over. it's over. completely over. I promise okay. you. I promise you the Mets will not depart Chicago mm. without the National League. They they just got it is take. over. Y'all yes. can sit up there, Chicago. Love y'all. Great sports town. Sayonara. Turn out the lights. Oh, gosh. More the party's over. That's they say <laughs> that more...